Rental properties are some of the most popular investments these days and I understand why. The idea of buying a property with the bank's money and then have a tenant reimburse your mortgage and then own the property free and clear is very compelling. Uh, you may earn uh, cash flow along the way and your property is likely also going to gain value over the coming decades. But have you ever asked yourself why doesn't Warren Buffett buy rental properties if it's such a great investment? He sure has the skills, uh, the connections, the access to talent and capital so why doesn't he do it? In today's video, I'm going to explore this topic. Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run an investment firm that specializes in real estate and REIT investing. And in today's video, I'm going to give you three reasons why Warren Buffett doesn't buy rental properties. But before I get into it, if you could please like this video, it will be tremendously helpful to me. I just recently created this channel and uh, yeah, I'm trying to grow it. It would help me a lot. Thank you. So reason number one, Rental properties require a lot of work. In an interview in 2012, Warren Buffett explained that single family homes are deeply undervalued and could be a great investment, but that he isn't buying them simply because the management is too complicated. You have to study a lot of markets and sub markets. You have to get to know the fair values of different properties. Then you have to make offers. You have to negotiate. You have to get financing. You have to deal with tenants, repairs, uh, you know, sign lease agreements. Uh, write those lease agreements with lawyers. I mean, there are countless things you have to do. And I think that, you know, rental property might make sense for someone who has the time and doesn't value too much his time. But someone like Warren Buffett and his team, their time is highly valuable and limited and they simply don't have it for, for rental properties. Then reason number two, Warren Buffett understands that his circle of competence is limited. You cannot be an expert at everything. Warren Buffett himself, he's, uh, he's made most of his money with uh, consumer facing companies and uh, insurance businesses. He's a real expert in this, but he's not a jack of all trades. He, he's not a specialist in, in real estate. And so he leaves this to, to other people in some interview of many years ago, sorry, it wasn't an interview, it was actually an annual meeting of Berkshire Hathaway. Charlie Munger, the right-hand man of Buffett, explained that we don't have any competitive advantage over experienced real estate investors. We have no special competence in the field and that means that we spend almost no, no time thinking about it. And, and then he also added that they actually have a pretty poor track record whenever they've done some real estate deals and so they leave this business to REITs and other players. And then reason number three, it's difficult to find opportunities in the real estate space. Uh, it's a pretty competitive uh, world with a lot of investors. Uh, deals are relatively accurately priced according to Warren Buffett and he explained that this is because real estate is quite simple at the end of the day. You earn rental income, it's a physical structure. It's not a commodity but it's getting closer to a commodity than a business uh, like an insurance company. And so mispricings are less frequent and that's really how Buffett has made his fortune. And he's looking for opportunities that are deeply mispriced and then he buys them and waits for its value to recover. A better alternative today, in my opinion, is REIT investing. REITs are publicly listed real estate investment vehicles and Warren Buffett has shown his willingness in the past to invest in these. He's held positions in companies like Tanger Factory Outlets, General Growth Properties, which was later acquired by Brookfield, Vornodo, uh, Seritage Growth Properties, uh, Store Capital, which was also recently acquired by another company. And so, while REITs aren't a major part of Berkshire's portfolio, uh, they've at least shown their willingness to invest in this. And I think that this is because of three key reasons. Firstly, they don't require any work. Here you, you're making a minority investment in a portfolio of properties. And so you have management teams take care of it for you and there are significant economies of scale. Then reason number two, they don't require as much skills. Uh, you know, you here you get to benefit from this professional management team. There are, there are over 200 REITs out there. They all specialize in one specific niche of the real estate market. They are real experts at it. And as a shareholder, you get to benefit from these skills. And then reason number three, in the REIT sector, you actually have a lot of mispricings. Unlike in the private sector, where properties are relatively accurately priced most of the time, REITs will often trade uh, completely detached from the fundamentals of their properties. And this is because these are essentially real estate investments that trade like stocks. And 
As you know, stocks can change very drastically in value from one year to another. Last year, as an example, REITs dropped by 30% on average, and many of the smaller REITs dropped by over 50%. And that's despite the fact that their cash flow actually rose as rents were increases were increased and the property values remain more or less stable. And so today you have a lot of opportunities to buy REITs at large discounts to their net asset value. And I think that Warren Buffett likes this. I mean, he's always looking for mispriced opportunities and you have more of them in the REIT sector. And then besides, on top of all these advantages, REITs have actually, according to many studies, outperformed the returns of private real estate in the past. I'll put some on the screen. Typically, the outperformance has been 2 to 3 to 4 percent, depending on the study. And this is because REITs also enjoy significant economies of scale. They typically get access to lower cost of capital. They, they really know what they're doing. They have a better bargaining power of the tenants because they, they are much larger in size. They, um, they develop their own properties, which re re result in higher returns in many cases. They might enter other real estate related businesses like brokerage to earn extra profits. I mean, there are many reasons why REITs outperform rent rental properties and private real estate in many cases. Maybe I'll do a, another separate video on this topic someday. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, but, but I'm sure you know Warren Buffett is aware of these reasons. And so this is why he is, he's shown uh, more willing to invest in REITs than rental properties in the past. That's all I had on this topic. Thank you very much for sticking till the end. If you want to learn more about the REITs that I'm buying in today's market, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. And also, if you could like the video, it will help me a lot. I just recently created this channel and I plan to do weekly videos on REIT investing going forward. Thank you very much for watching. See you at my next video.